Roman, congratulations. You won the trilogy. It was the first time in a long time, though, we've seen you face any adversity inside the circle. How were you able to overcome that flurry in the first round and come back to get a sweet victory? For me, it was always very important to me. И вот это вот одна из э, таких э, больших побед. Э, первый раунд был очень тяжелый. И знаете, вчера я говорил о взвешивании, что он там пятый или какой в моем рейтинге. На самом деле, ну, это, конечно, элемент шоу. Я шутил. 55-й, я сказал, да. На самом деле, это самый сильный противник, который у меня был. И как бы вы сами видели первый раунд. Вот. Yeah, it was actually a really tough fight. It's, you know, uh... I always kind of remember and I have that that value against all those, you know, uh, hardest fights that I had in my career. Uh, and everyone saw this first round that it was surprising to me as well. Uh, uh, and, I, and I think like this fight was like the toughest in my career. Wow, you've won the trilogy. Is it put to bed or do you think that you'll meet again one day? I hope that we've finished. But also... Если Уан дает мне бой, я никогда не отказываюсь. Но мне всегда интересно <coughs> какие-то новые челленджи. Я ищу uh, хорошие бои. И я надеюсь uh, встретить таких же достойных оппонентов в будущем. You know, I really hope that we put it into in, in, in bed. But um, the thing is, it's, uh, I'm always open for challenges. And, I, you know, if one championship decides for that, why not? Uh, and, you know, if there is other fighters, uh, you know, uh, who's also ready, I'm, I'm really ready for those challenges. After going one decision each in the first two, how important was it for you to pull the trigger and get the stoppage in the trilogy? Does that make it even sweeter? Ну, я, как сказал ранее, победы, которые даются тяжело, они особенно ценные, и это как раз одна из таких. Yeah, as I said earlier, like, you know, uh, the fights that uh, are which are very hard uh, has the biggest value for me, and this is what the one of that. Your trainer Andre is renowned for being one of the best minds in the game. How important was it to have his advice between rounds so that you're able to turn things around? You know, there was someone from the great who said that all tactics can work up to the first unexpected punch. I had a similar situation. I had a particular tactic. I had a particular tactic. Game plan, и он как-то резко рухнул после пропущенных мною ударов, и я потерял концентрацию, я забыл, что нужно делать, мне нужно было двигаться, использовать ноги и встречать его. А тренер, мой тренер напомнил мне об этом, и он мне дал конкретные установки. В общем-то, это и сработало во втором раунде. Нужно было встречать его легкими ударами и заканчивать коленом. Так и вышло. Yeah, you know, one, one of the greatest people in the world, is, he said, like, you know, you have the tactic, you have the, uh, the, the vision until you get the first punch. And this is something happened to me. Like, I had everything game plan in my mind, but when I got that punch, and many more, especially in the first round, uh, I lost everything. I lost control and concentration. Uh, but then uh, after the first round, uh, my coach reminded me everything that we planned. And, you know, that's this is something that happened uh, afterwards, you know, uh, punching uh, to the face and then uh, doing doing knees. You've got a beautiful silver belt. How fast do you want to fight for the gold at heavyweight? I wanted to defend my pass in the light heavyweight division. Это, наверное, моя такая ближайшая цель, а потом вернуться в тяжелый вес. Но, как я сказал, я не отказываюсь от боев, если Уан найдет мне подходящий бой, подходящего да, соперника для золотого пояса, я только за. You know, I really uh, want to defend first uh, in light heavyweight division. Uh... Uh, and uh, afterwards, uh, if one championship would find some challenge for me for gold, uh, belt, I mean, why not? I'm ready for that. Have you got any opponents in mind in one or outside of one that interest you? Конкретно, конкретно, вот такой очень хороший набирающий обороты, да, тяжеловес есть, радиопатчащий с 
Я думаю, что он составит мне хорошую конкуренцию за золотой пояс в тяжелом дивизионе. Также... Yeah, in... да, okay. yeah. uh, in, in heavyweight uh, division, I think there's one uh, very good fighter that, yeah, you know, uh, that yeah, doing really well is Radio Pachesh. Uh, and I think he will be the great one who to fight me for a uh, gold, gold uh, belt. That would be an absolute banger. Uh, do you believe that you're the best heavyweight striker on the planet? Я уверен в том, что One FC это лучшая платформа для кикбоксинга в мире. Поэтому, наверное, да, вы так можете сказать, но я никогда так не считаю. Я всегда пытаюсь видеть какие-то свои недостатки, и это мне помогает развиваться. То есть я не хожу и не кричу, что я самый лучший да, боксер в мире, а кикбоксер. Но... Yeah, I... okay. You know, one championship is the greatest and, and you know, the largest and biggest uh, uh, organization in the world. And I would say that uh, if I'm here and I win, I would say, uh, I mean, yes, I think so. But I never thought about myself like this in this way, because I feel like, you know, you always have to, you know, uh, judge yourself and think about uh, all your mistakes. And then this is something I do uh, and trying to improve. We've seen a lot of legends down the years like Krokop, Mark Hunt, Alistair Overeem, Enrico Verhoeven. Where do you put yourself among names like that? I, again, don't like to talk about myself. Let's say people. In kickboxing, in addition to boxing, there is no such a universal rating of the best fighters in the world. And I hope that this will improve in the future. And all the ratings are kind of unified. Среди разных организаций в кикбоксинге, и мы увидим реальную картинку. Так что судите сами. Uh, you know, to be, to be frank with you, I don't really like to, te to tell this because uh, I, I really uh, would prefer if someone from, you know, external would, would tell that. Uh, and until now, kickboxing doesn't have that, you know, uh, like a worldwide kind of Uh, rating that you know uh, would uh, do this and uh, I hopefully uh, one day this will happen as well and this will be similar like if, uh, for the boxing or for MMA. Your career seems to be absolutely flying you're on an incredible winning streak and $50,000 as well how does it feel getting the bonus? It really motivates me I'm always charged on the bonus and I'm always going to the maximum and you can see it yourself and when I в первом раунде начал пропускать удары. У меня первое, что сработало, я хотел видеть тем же. То есть не было какого-то чувства опаски, там еще чего-то. Вот, в ринге я другой человек, и я всегда выкладываюсь на полную катушку. Вот. И как бы я считаю, что заслужил этот бонус. Yeah, you know, it, it motivates so much, yeah, and this is something that I'm I'm trying to uh, get up every time, you know, uh, after the first, during the first round, like, you know, I got a lot of punches and I wanted to give it back because uh, uh, I wanted to show my, my strength too. And this is something that I work hard for uh, and I think I deserve it. Maximum respect. One of the greatest to ever do it. Roman, well played and enjoy the victory. Thank you. Thank you so much.